Now, Netherlands versus Sweden. So, Netherlands 2.3, draw 3.3, and Sweden 3.6. So, now, so for the clip of this video, um, Whale Kappa is going for a very interesting parlay or accumulator bet. So, it's England and uh, over what? England to score over 1.5 goals, but Netherlands to score less than 1.5. So, basically, like one goal. And he's asked EJ what his thoughts are on that one. Mine yeah. is best of luck. EJ? I don't know, Whale. I don't know, Whale. <laughs> that that one's a little tougher, man. I keep keeping them down. We all know what the Netherlands want to do, man. They're going to try and keep that possession as long as they can, try to keep mm. that first half as minimal as they can. They've done it in all their games. Obviously, the Japan didn't work out. They had that 1-1 draw in that first half there. But otherwise, man, they've done a great job. I think they gave up the one goal to Cameroon early, too, and then they ended up coming back and scoring three goals there. So, man, you know what? The first half, I, the, the Dutch are definitely going to try and limit opportunities, try and keep possession as best they can. Mm. They've been, that's what they, I expect them to do the same thing they just did to get here. And that's what they did, man. My God, talk about limiting opportunities. What did Italy get a, a shot on goal? I don't even think we got a shot on goal that was really like, oh, there's a chance. Like, no, no, damn it. <laughs> anyway, you know what, uh, man? I, I think the second half play here for me, it's where the goals are going to come. We talked about how European teams just find that, you know, muster up that strength in that second half. The over one and a half in the second half is like 2.40 or something. All righty. Uh, my God, man, I think it's going to be a, a, at least a 1-1 second half. Although I do think the Dutch are going to find a way to score that second goal, man. I'm mm. sorry, Will. I, I, I think it's going to be one nothing Dutch at halftime and then maybe 1-1 one, one, one in that second half. It's going to be 2-1 Dutch, man. I, 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 I'm not convinced that that under is going to be a good combo play for you, man. I, I, hey, good luck. You know what I mean? I'm not certainly one to try to tell you if you play shit, man. But, I, man, I, that one is going to be the tough for, uh, uh, for in my opinion. Man, that, that's a tough play because I think the Netherlands are going to find two goals. I, I really do. Yeah, but Sweden beat your Germany there, yeah, they EJ. did. So why, yeah, did. why the value is on Sweden at 3.6, Sweden to qualify 2.45? There is some value there. There is some value there. Uh, man, mm. Even their John Bet has a whole ton of value, too. Uh, you know, I, I don't think, I don't see it, Matt. I don't see it. I, you know what? I, I, if, if you're talking about combos like he was talking about, if the U.S. is going to go on and win that match somehow, they're only like minus 110 or 2.10 or, or two, even money somewhere on that, on that three-way line. And that Dutch John Bet. Man, I know that's a little high price too, but if you put that draw no bet and the USA draw no bet both together, that you still get like 2.25 or 2.3. Mm. Hey, man, both teams, hey, they both draw, they both draw. Hey, give me my money back. I'm okay with that more often than not. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I, that, that could be a cute little combination where I think, because I do think the Dutch and the USA are both going to be and the, the two teams that move on to the final here. Uh, Sweden beating Germany. Yeah, I was impressed with that. I, I, I was definitely sitting there going, come on. All right, come on. All right, just come on. Really, stop all this crap and get on the board. And they just limited them. Uh, that was pretty damn good job of keeping Germany off that board. And Germany was obviously hungry. That was right second in the world. So mm. they're pretty good, man. But, yeah, you know, I don't think Sweden's going to beat them. All, all that orange in that crowd, too, is certainly going to be there for them. They're going to have they're going to have a crowd. Uh, you know what? I, 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 I'm taking the Netherlands and the U.S. to at least both end up in that final somehow. I was liking both teams to score. Both have definitely not strong in defence there. I'm both teams to score. Yeah. And this 1.95. Prognoscus Deportivo says the team who have beat Germany in the last tournaments have won the cup. Sweden yep. to win. That wouldn't suit well, Kappa. It's just going. <laughs> not a good show for you, Dave. You started the video all happy, and now it's like, uh, you've got two <laughs> tickets, and then the one that people are predicting is going to be Sweden. Like, you're just like. <laughs> It's nah, sunshiny. Nah. Well, it's sunshiny. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. If if we if we have a, a USA uh, Netherlands final, uh, I guarantee you know, in, you know guaranteed payday because I leveled my stakes you know to 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 those payouts. I think I win like you know just just about two units either way, no matter who wins, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but you know, and I think the Dutch are the better team. I love the point you brought up, EJ, about the home. You know, effectively having a home crowd. The Dutch fans have just traveled spectacularly Travel. well. I love <laughs> they have really done a great job of filling those stands, providing an atmosphere, supporting their their side, and that made a huge difference in that, that Netherlands Italy match. I feel like uh, in this, you know, that the, the um, Italy had about a twenty minute window. Uh, at the end of the first half where it looked like they were taking over that match and I was starting to get a little nervous about my Dutch women getting through 
And then coming out of the halftime, they set the tone, the crowd lifted them up, and they basically just, you know, they, they put so much pressure on Italy that Italy just folded up. Uh, you know, they ended up hard. winning 2-0. Um, they left another, at least another two goals that they should have scored in that second half on the field. Um, and, you know, Dutch are a very powerful offensive team. I still think, though, that the, the amount of soccer that has been played to this point in the tournament, the amount of high-intensity soccer for both of these squads has been very, very, um, uh, in, you know, I, I think that they both played extremely tough uh, matches and, and schedules to this point. Uh, you know, both were at the end of the group stage, so their schedules have been somewhat compressed. I think all of this leads to fatigue. It will lead to tired legs. You're not going to see a lot of crisp ball striking, you know, goal attempts here. Uh, and I think that, you know, you have relatively good, you have very good goalkeeping from the Dutch. The Dutch goalkeeper is outstanding. Uh, the Swedish goalkeeper is not bad herself. Uh, and I think that, you know, we've seen Sweden do this before where they have a, you know, they have a park the bu bus tactic. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm 100% oh, expecting them to roll that out here. I do not think you're going to see them making, you know, aggressive counterattack runs like they did against Germany. They just played, have played too much in the heat of the day, too recently, too much over the course of this last month. All of this fatigue is going to be cumulative and impact their performance. And I think the under is the look in this one. I really do. I think if you're going to give me under two and a half goals, I'm, I'm interested in that. Yeah. Um, I think the draw is probably in play, too. I think a 0-0 zero, zero draw is reasonable. No. I mean, I think that no. this, this entirety, you know, I mean, I, I mean, my, my, my dream scenario is this is 0-0 zero, zero heading into like minute 80 and the Dutch pull off, uh, you know, the game winner, you know, as we get into the late stages of the game here to win one nothing or something like that. Like that is, that is the best possible outcome for me. And I'm mm -hmm. pulling for that. Mm -hmm. I have, but yeah. I have to be a little bit, uh, I have to be a little bit strategic here, uh, in order to get my, um, in order to get my futures home because, you know, this, the, the path to victory for Sweden to advance is to limit the Dutch to under two goals. That is what it is. Sweden is not winning this. They're not advancing if they give up that second three goal two, to the yeah. Dutch, period. You know, they, they are not winning 3-2. They're not winning in extra time having tied 2-2. Two, two. They're probably not beating the Netherlands in a penalty kill shootout because the Netherlands goalie is substantially better than the Swedish goalie. So mm -hmm. I really think that, you know, if I'm Sweden's coach, if, I, you know, if I'm their manager and I'm kind of coming up with the tactical approach here, I mean, we are, we are limiting the Dutch chances at all costs. And maybe the dam breaks finally at minute 80, 85, something like that, and the Dutch put one away and they advance. But this is this, everything about this match screams the under to me. I like your second half more goals, you know, look too, because I think this is a 0 0 <laughs> first half kind of That's match as well. Look. Um, but uh, it, should be, it should be a heck of a lot of fun, and I can't, can't wait to see how this plays out. All right. So, and, 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 so go on, EJ. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I mean, Coach Gardson, man, you know he's without Rolf, too. Uh, she's suspended, and that's a big loss for them up front. She owns that wing, man. Uh, now, 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 Jakobsen, obviously she scored the goal, and she's going to be the only one who's going to put that pressure down that line, man. Uh, who's going to stop Madeira and Martins? Are you out of your mind? No. Stop it, man. Go, 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 go reach in that bet, dude. The Dutch are scoring twice. Stop it. Stop it. There's a nice price Sorry, on man. over one and a half goals for the Dutch team. Dutch women over one and a half goals is like plus, plus 150 mm -hmm. if you're, Bang if you're it. so inclined. Bang it. Bang it. <laughs> don't, don't even hesitate. All don't right. even hesitate. I'm sorry, dude. I, no, that, 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 that's a great play. The over one and a half in the second half is 2.35, and that play right there is what? 0.5, man? There, Ooh. value. See, that could be that. Value? That, yeah, that's, that's quite an, that's uh, quite a nice on. play, to be honest with you. And the, uh, you know, whether we are, whether again, draw at half time, something like that. I agree with uh, with Wales and Angie as well. I think both will try and have possession, uh, shut shop at the, you know, park the bus, um, as they say. I have to say, though, on a betting stand, I have leans on Netherlands Sweden. I'm not playing it myself um, I just think there's a few variables and I actually do like Sweden if I have to be honest with you the Sweden to qualify 2.45 wow. I think that they will get the job done but I'm wow. I'm not officially playing it I am officially <laughs> playing England versus USA we'll call it a lean we'll call it a lean yeah all right all right, so to wrap up Netherlands versus Sweden EJ Raymaker what are you going for Second half over one and a half, and the Dutch to score twice, baby. Sorry. Sorry, Will. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kappa, head to head. 
with the rain maker. <laughs> in the, in, the, in uh, Netherlands, Sweden, I like first half under one. I like full game under two and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, I like, uh, I have a little bit of an inkling that we're seeing a draw here, uh, although I'm pulling hard for uh, um, the Dutch to come away with a late, late, uh, the late decider. Uh, in a one nothing kind of a game, um, but uh, but you know it's if if we look up at the halftime stats and there have been a total of like three shots on goal three to shots. the point and at halftime I won't be surprised. I really do think that there that that the um, the cumulative fatigue of both of these teams to this point and having played in the heat just on Sunday mm -hmm. uh, is going to have or on just on Saturday is going to have an effect on in their performance on Wednesday. All right, team. There you go. And uh, what will be about Thursday? We're previewing the finals, right? Let me just pull up Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah. Yes, th Thursday is the finals. Yes, and um, also third place uh, match. Well, listen, go and enjoy your wonderful days, both of you. I'm very jealous sat here mm -hmm. in my studio, but enjoy. And uh, best of luck, and we'll see you on Thursday.